Now, uh, Monday uh, marked a year since Brenda lost her son, Jamal. And in typical Brenda style, she threw a party to celebrate his life with friends, family, and us loose women. We had a brilliant night, didn't we, ladies? Yeah. Look, that's one of the pictures from the night. Uh, we laughed, we danced, we ate a lot of good food. You always make sure there's a good spread, don't you, Bea? Um, And just like Monday, we're all wearing blue again today. B, do you want to explain why? Uh, Jamal is a Chelsea supporter and it's like, come on, you blues. And blue was his colour, blue all the way. Yeah. True blue, yeah. And it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, on Monday. Oh, so much fun. At one point, we all hit the dance, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> that was one of the highlights of the night. We were just like, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I have to say, it's that was down to my daughter, Tanisha, because obviously last year I... I'd organised the nine night, which is a traditional mm. thing that uh, Caribbeans uh, do for after the nine ninth of somebody <laughs> passing away. You yeah. celebrate their life. And Tanisha, it was important to her that she did something to um, celebrate Jamal's life and to say thank you to all the people that had helped yeah. from SBTV. For... And it was such a lovely night. It was really lovely it's to a, see yeah. everyone uh, love. who loved his yeah. yeah. son, who loved yeah. Jamal. Yeah. It's yeah. great, wasn't it's it? It's the love that's in the room, which is from Jamal and, and, and yourself and Tanisha and, and just being there, you know, to support, to keep loving you, just seeing how, you know, amazing you are and, and your children are and what uh, the extent of his love has done within the community um, is, 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 is overwhelming. It really it's, is. it's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> well, there is one person who has been Brenda's rock throughout everything over the past year, her daughter, Tanisha, who she yes. just mentioned. And they're both very kind to <coughs> get some filming with us as they continue to carry out Jamal's work. Let's take a look. The last year has been one big massive roller coaster ride and considering I don't really like roller coasters uh, to be honest with the support it's re been that we've we've had it's been really nice and comforting so that's makes me feel good so that's an up but then everything is tinged with a bittersweet I can remember like bits of the past year but if I'm being honest it's actually been quite a bit of a blur I don't think you can really put it into words it's Good to have Tanisha here and have her around because we, you know, we're going through this together. I try my best not to show her my upset. She tries her best not to show me, but then there's times when we're both upset together. Because it's been a long night and I cry because I miss my brother. You know the life got your sister. The whole piece that Ed wrote um, stuck with me and it, it, it just because it was so raw and so true it was remarkable what he was saying from from his the first lyric to right to the end you know i cry because i miss my brother my brother jamal and ed were literally like brothers from another mother so from the very beginning of ed's career it was always jamal and ed everybody go mad rage it i'll start ringing up shells rage i'll start ringing up bells rage it was at Chelsea Stadium because Jamal was Chelsea through and through. So it was it was really nice to, to just have that as the first starting point to launch back the channel again. It was weird because the day we shot it was actually the first day I'd heard the song because I saw my mum's reaction when she listened to it beforehand. I kind of said I didn't want to have that reaction. So I just didn't listen to it and then I just waited until the day. They had Jamal's name in the seats. They had his his picture up on the, on the sc big screens. So walking in, it was very much woof, in your face. Like my mum did call me like, just so you know, prepare yourself. Everybody that's contributed to SBTV over the years, we hold them dearly. And, you know, we're really grateful for what they did for Jamal. And we hope that they'll just continue to support Tanisha and the SB team going forward. But this is just another chapter. This is the next chapter. And it's um, through Tanisha's vision. The way Jamal put it was it was here to connect worlds and to break down doors for young people. Everyone who's watching my videos, commenting on my videos, and that just motivates me to keep going and Yo. provide everyone with fresh content every day. Our flagship series is F64, which stands for Fresh 64 Bars. Intercontinental tunes like Obama, I make monumental moves. Follow me on Twitter at Swarmzy1. Big up Jamal for the opportunity. You already know, sure. Jamal was a very pivotal person in my life and kind of gave my life meaning and purpose. 
So it's just being ensuring that that purpose stays true. I know it's what he would have wanted us to do. Um, and so we're just getting on with it um, and doing the best job that we can. It's been really wonderful to have that acknowledgement and know that Jamal made such a difference to so many different people. Well, this is the MITS award um, that we were given. It's so beautiful and it's so heavy. And it was to recognise his contribution to the music industry. Music Week awards um, we were given um, that last year at the end of the year. And then of course we've got YouTube, which was the, that's the, where he launched everything on YouTube. And of course, when Jamal did the Olympic, he carried the Olympic torch. <laughs> For his homegoing, um, there was a song of Jesse J's that was um, performed. She asked me what would I like her to sing? And I says, well, I, I really love your song, Who You Are, and me and Jamal would sing it. And I remembered the words being so beautiful. And I found this book and inside there, it actually said, it's okay not to be okay, Jesse J, who you are, Jesse J. I'll just keep adding to it. I just need a bigger side. <laughs> Hello, yes. You are gorgeous little baby. Jamal was like the main, the, them the, the, my inquiry, <laughs> and he'd send me videos of this is what I'm doing with Tiny and this is what I'm doing with Temper. Unfortunately, Tanisha, she's allergic to cats. She has actually got better with it. <laughs> she's not sneezing as much as what she used to. <laughs> so he was kind of like the primary carer. And when he passed away, I could see a change in them, in the fact that both of them uh, lost he lost their hair. I took them to the vets and the vets said that they were fine. They, it's just stress. I got the picture on my arm um, of that cover shot that we did. So yeah, it was a really big moment for all of us. I do have a few. I've got a half sleeve dedicated to Jamal and then I got a big piece of Jamal's face, the mural um, of Chase the Dream. Pretty much all, all of my tattoos now, majority of them are like Jamal based. <laughs> Jamal was always championing young people and whether it be with their mental health and helping in that way or just trying to give contacts. I admire her strength and I, I know I couldn't have got through this without her. If I start to really think about what I'm going through then it kind of upsets me but I just try and separate the two if that makes sense. For us to have that sort of people holding us up and keeping us going. Yeah, I, it is, I do feel really kind of honoured to have that. Because even if I do have a really bad day and I want to fall off, at the end of that bad day, I'm like, I've actually got something to do and I've got, I've, I've got work to do. I've got, I've got... Keep going. Yeah. I have my faith and it keeps me strong and it keeps me going. So I'm going to do everything I can to continue that as best I can. Hopefully with the support of everybody else, which has been immense. Like to yeah, yeah, I told you guys I didn't want to put lashes on, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we can, we can totally go for a break I'm if fine. you want to no, take a moment. It's, it's you OK? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how important has it been for you to, to keep his name relevant and alive and to continue his work? Oh, it's immensely important. Um, you know, I always, I always say Jamal was always the busiest person and I had to... I, I would make jokes saying I had to make an appointment myself to see my own child who was in my house <laughs> so um you know that's how busy he was and it's for, for everything that he's done and for everything that everybody since has come up and said that he did for them selflessly without asking for anything back it was important that's what makes it important for me to just know that i have to carry this on yeah. because he was doing it for a reason to help and there's so many young people that need help and I just want to be able to, to continue that, that legacy that he started. And you do feel like he is 
there with you the whole way, don't you? Yeah. Oh gosh, he, he is. I mean, when he when he passed, we kept seeing things on the telly, and people might say, "Oh, it's because this has happened that this is," that, but I, you know, we'd see things, and it's it's something we've never watched, and and then all of a sudden somebody's saying the name Jamal, or somebody's, you know, or or <laughs> after he passed, they were playing the the song Peru, which it's like okay, it was it's a big trap, but. In, it was just hitting us. As we'd say his name, something would come up. Yeah. Um, was it not like a, a, a... I remember you telling me about this green orbit or...? Well, yeah, I did a, I did a show um, with Catherine Jenkins and we were doing a, a rehearsal. Um, and when, when we were... Just be, I was just about, we were just about to sing You'll Never Walk Alone. Um, and she says to me, what would you like to wear? And I says, blue. Um, and so she wore the blue, and there's this green orb that's flying around me at the bottom on, on my feet. And it's Hello. like, there was nobody filming or anything, but the, the, it wasn't like a big... It, it, I didn't, didn't know where it came and I hadn't seen it. I took the video, but I hadn't seen it until I went to post it, and I just... I hadn't posted it because I was just busy talking to the green orb. There's so many different things. Tanisha had, um, you know, in, in, in our house, she's got, like, a remote control to do the light and change the light into different colours, cos we like mood lighting. Mm. Yeah. Um, and there was nothing wrong with the battery in the remote. She went to turn the light on and it's blue. She went to turn it to... It's blue. She went to turn it to... It's blue. It wow. just stayed blue. And also, I remember going to um, see you when you were doing Panther in Wimbledon oh, over Christmas. Yeah. And every night in the flat that you were staying in, foxes came to a fox, visit you. Yeah, and I've never seen... I, you see foxes about. No. This fox, he, <laughs> he was chasing after me <laughs> in the thing. And oh, when no. I first bought Jamal his camera at Christmas for, for at Christmas time when he was 15... The camera he, that kicked off... The, the camera that kicked off everything, foxes was what he, he started wow. filming in the back garden. I'd see a fox and I'd run a mile. <laughs> so this fox came and it was like, it wasn't, it was going like it was playing with me. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then I posted it. And then the second I went away, did my show, came back. And, and this it came is it, back. come back and it's sitting there having a grooming. And then I, I was talking to it and everybody said to give it some food. So I gave it some of my cat food. <laughs> I gave it some cat food to just, you know, mother look after child, whatever. Um, and then I was talking to it. I said, people are saying that you're Jamal. Are you Jamal? Are you Jamal? <laughs> and when I said his name, it stayed there all that time. When I said Jamal's name, that's when it got up and walked away. So I saw it as an acknowledgement of him saying, he knew I was feeling a bit down at that time and yeah. he came and brought the, the fox spirit for the me. Th listen, but, the thing um, about you, Brenda, which I, <sighs> I want to say is your friend, without Saying without crying, is we can see from what Jamal's done and what how t uh, Tanisha is and how yourself the love that you give. What people don't realise is throughout this year the pain that you felt you've still supported and loved people, hmm. and that 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 is what we love so much about you, and that is the legacy that your son you know has left behind. What going forward? What do you want for SBTV? Well, SBTV, Tanisha's, you know, I'm very proud of her and the team who uh, have started back the F64 series and the warm-up sessions and the A64. So there's going to be more coming and, and yeah. showing new talent yeah. and, and just giving new talent to, to, the, to the world. Um, but from the, the trust side of things, I set up um, the Jamal Edwards Self-Belief Trust and we're working very closely with Centrepoint to offer apprenticeships to young people oh. who would not have that opportunity yeah. within the music industry. <laughs> Thing. You know, I think all of us here are just incredibly thankful that we were blessed enough to have you in, yeah. in our life because you are incredible. You Thank are. you. Brenda yeah. Webb was <laughs>